Welcome to NOFL's video on question number six of the TOEFL speaking section. So I'm very excited to be with you today and I want to let you know that the goal of this video is that by the end of it that you feel confident and comfortable and ready to attack and get your maximum score possible on question six. So I hope you have a positive expectation and are excited to move forward. So the first thing that we want to do to really master this question and get the maximum score possible is understand the structure. You know, what is question six about? What's going to happen? So the first thing that you want to understand is that the previous five questions are done. You're sitting down and you're going to get question number six in front of you. The final question of the TOEFL speaking section. What's going to happen is you're going to begin with a lecture. Now that lecture on average lasts about two minutes. But it can be anywhere from one and a half to two and a half minutes. Little variation, but unlikely. So after that two minute lecture is finished, you're actually going to get a question that appears on the computer screen. So you're going to have a chance to look at the question as it's read out loud to you. Then you're going to get 20 seconds, so a timer is going to appear on the screen, to actually prepare your answer to that question. To think about it, think about what you want to say, how you want to phrase your answer. And then you're going to get 60 seconds to speak. So you're going to get a timer on the screen with 60 seconds that counts down, and there's going to be a device that's recording you throughout those 60 seconds to record your answer so that the graders can later hear it and evaluate it. Of course, you'll have a headset, you'll be speaking into it, it'll all be automated so you don't have to worry about any of that. It's just the answer that you have to worry about preparing for. So let's go ahead and see how you can deliver the best answer. The first thing from the structure that we want to learn about is the lecture. So the lecture begins with a professor. It's either going to be a male or a female voice delivering a two-minute lecture on a specific topic. And let's go ahead and say that that topic can be just about anything you can hear in basic introductory university classes. Psychology, uh, biology, oceanography, they like that, archaeology. It's going to sound like the professor is giving a speech in front of a classroom. And what you want to do is know that there's going to be a little introduction, hey everybody, how's class, you know, something like that. And then they're going to go right into the topic. So today we're going to talk about thermoregulation. When the topic is discussed, it's going to be followed by the definition of it. So thermoregulation is how animals control their internal body temperature. And you're going to hear this nice and smooth and fluid. When that topic and definition is finished, the professor is going to go on to explain two categories of that topic. We like to say two subtopics. So There's going to be two kinds of thermoregulation. And the professor is going to go ahead and explain what the first one is. You know, the first kind is X. And then the professor is going to give a definition of it and then an example. And then the professor is going to continue that by giving a second topic, second, sorry, subtopic, definition and example. So it's very structured, very even. So the topic and definition might be about 30 seconds of the lecture, and then the uh, subtopic and definition and example will be about 45 seconds to 50 seconds, and so will the next one. So very evenly distributed, not tricky. They're going to be using clean transition words, you know, first, second. So this helps you to understand how to take notes effectively, which we'll be talking about soon. So I hope we understand the lecture. Now what about that question? Here's an example question. Using the points and examples given by the professor, explain the two types of thermoregulation that mammals use. So as you see, this question just asks you to identify the topic and explain the subtopics, and you see the third bullet point, uh, using the examples in the lecture. So very structured, nothing too tricky there. Now, what are you going to do in your 20 second preparation time? So I wanted to put a lot on this slide because this is really where you master this question. This is where you succeed. This is where you really maximize your score. So what you see in red is the actual way that you should prepare your notes before you start the question. You see we have TOP for topic, DEF for definition, ST for subtopic, DEF for definition, and EX for example, and we repeat that. And you want to do that in your notes too so you have the expectation of what you're going to hear and so that you're mentally prepared because as you're preparing your notes, you're setting yourself up for success because you're anticipating what the lecture is going to be about. To prepare, what you want to do is you want to draw five circles. The first circle is around the topic and the definition, then the first subtopic and its definition, and then the third circle around the example that illustrates it, and then the same thing for the second. A uh, circle around the subtopic and definition, and then a circle around the example. And you see it illustrated here from an example from our program. Now, this is going to help you to organize your notes and review the information. The second thing you want to do is understand that you have a two minute lecture and 60 seconds to explain it. So you cannot, you should not, and it's not expected that you say everything. 
So when you take notes, it's natural that you're going to take a good amount of notes. Enough notes that you're going to go over time if you try to say what's in them in 60 seconds. So we've developed a strategy over five years, very detailed. But the easiest bullet point that we can give you is cross out 40% of your notes. Even if you're thinking to yourself, I don't know what to cross out or everything's important. You have to trust yourself. If you're able to listen to me in this video and understand what I'm saying, you're able to identify what's most critical and not critical in the question. You have to have faith in that and just cross out 40% of your notes as you see illustrated here. You see crossing things out. You have to do that or else you're going to unfortunately not get your maximum score because you're going to get cut off. The grader's not going to hear everything he or she needs to hear and you're going to get deducted points. And as you see in the third bullet point, as you do this, you review. So it's an excellent tool to help you prepare. And the last point is really important. I'm not, I can talk about this for hours, but take a deep breath before you start your answer, during your preparation time. Just, it resets your mind. It gets, if your five questions were great or they weren't good, it lets you forget it and lets you focus on what it is that you have to do. With the answer, you have the phrases that you want to use to structure your response. Very simple, basic phrases. Let's go ahead and review them. So the first one is, the professor discusses the topic. You know, the professor discusses thermoregulation, which he, she defines as, and then the professor's definition, what you have in the first circle, explained in a nice, simple, clear sentence. You continue with the transition. He, she describes two kinds. It could be two kinds, two methods, two ways, two reasons. So the word kinds you can replace depending on the lecture, and you're, you're likely going to have to. And then the next thing that you do is you just go on to the subtopics in the same way. First, X, you know, that was the subtopic in thermoregulation, let's say, that we heard. And then the definition, which is the same as you saw earlier, which he, she defines as, he or she being whether it's a male or female voice that you heard. And then the added one is the professor provides an example of whatever it was, you know, turtles, rainforest, whatever the specific focus of the example is to illustrate this. And then that allows you to kind of move smoothly into the description of the example from your third circle. And you repeat this for the second subtopic definition and example. Same phrasing, which you can see on the screen here. You can pause the video, write it down, make the screen full. I won't go into too much detail with that to save you time. And in the end, and that's how the professor describes thermoregulation, whatever the topic may be, for a nice, clean, clear conclusion. Now, if you look at the notes, they're perfectly organized to help you deliver this answer smoothly. So now, of course, for the final words. What is it that I want to leave you with so you can truly feel confident, so you can really know you're ready to succeed and maximize your score for a tough question? The first thing is be patient with yourself. You learned a lot here. You learned how to prepare your notes, the structure of the lecture, the different topics you can hear, and many more things. The next thing is you want to focus on one element at a time. When you're practicing, don't try to do everything at once because it can be overwhelming. First, draw your circles. Understand them, review as you do it, get confident and comfortable with it. That'll just take a short time. Then go ahead and practice crossing things out. That might take a little more. And so on and so on from what you heard in this video. The third thing is, know that you're not alone. This video is here to help you and to let you know that in your strive for success, you have a partner. And what I want you to do is recognize that. And that can be motivating when you're frustrated and when you're struggling because you can always reach out to us, which is what I want to talk about next. Noteful is here for you 100%. So what does that mean? Well, what we've done with the TOEFL is we've taken it, we've analyzed it, we've broken it down, and we've understood the skills and everything that you need to know to get from whatever score you're at, the question mark you see there, an S for start, all the way to 120, F for finish. So we've created a program that takes you there, and that's actually what we call Complete TOEFL Mastery. That program is actually what we use to create this video. But the good news is that we actually took it a step further. And as you see here, we've created a 13-lesson TOEFL course, which talks about every single question of the speaking section, the writing, the reading, and the listening. So if you require more help, if you need more, again, you're not alone. And the way that you can connect with us is actually by clicking on that fish jumping from one bowl to the next, which is what we're all about with you, helping you get from that level that you're currently at to the next one, and you'll be taken to our website where you can actually register for the free course. Now what I want you to do is go ahead and click on that link. So I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to click on that link if you need extra help. Good luck and have a wonderful day.